Hello and welcome to today's video. Uh, it's once more me, Emperor Ricardo, as you should possibly know. After all, um, you hear me the most on the ch on the uh, on the channel. Um, and today I have more AI battle, but this time it's uh, me against five AIs, and I made sure that that there is two Spanish AIs. Two Swiss AIs and one Russian AI, so that uh, it, it's hopefully gonna be a bit, a bit of more of a challenge this time. And if not, then I'm going to, to buff it up to seven for the next video. And then I can experiment a bit more on the nations after that because uh, Spain and Swiss aren't the, the best pikeman nation nations. That's Russia, I would I would uh, say. Personally, of course, you may have your own opinion on that. But we'll see. I just think Russia is the best pipeman nation because they can just spam pipemen like mad with up to five barracks, I think, quite easily indeed. They can they are not very expensive. The upgrades of course they are a bit more of a thing, you also have to keep track of your iron and stuff, but uh, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. However, for now let's see how I what I can turn out of this. It should still be possible. It's, it's not like that hard of a um, of a handicap now. The rules of this round are the same one of, are the same ones as yesterday. If you watched that video, so you so should have a rough idea of what's going down or what's going to go down. Interesting, so you can't actually see your marker in the desert map. In the summer, that's another thing as well. I think that the, that the newer maps like Desert and Winter perhaps as well are just way more... How do I say? How way more updated than the summer map. Because in the summer map there's things that don't happen on the other maps. But that's for the, for the better or the worst. But it is certainly a thing, I would say. We need some archers. Can't let the AI build up too much, otherwise, it's going to get a bit difficult. I'll just fetch a second iron mine. Please go there, thank you. You go there, thank you as well. Not just in the middle. Can't can't do anything wrong by going into the middle, right? Come on. I'll even zoom in for that. There we go. That's done. Let's take care about the food upgrade situation. Even spend a little bit of gold on that because it's it's of crucial importance. There we go. First target sighted. It's Spanish AI. So I want to get rid of that ASAP. Considering they're already starting to prepare for an attack against me. It's not the biggest attack, of course, because the game has literally just started, but it's still something to be reckoned with, I would say. I don't want to risk any friendly fire, so my archers are just going around. There we go. More upgrades, please. Ooh, they are the Russians as well. And I can't see that on that on the left what's going down there. There 
there you go. I think this one is dealt with by now. Let's just see how far we can go. Some more archers, thank you. Mm. Some of this. Oh. Oh, dang. Yeah, the Russians got quite a bit of fighting spirit. I've got a secret weapon against that. It's called more upgrades. Hopefully. I don't think it's the wisest option to just wait for officers. But it's my best shot right now. I need every buff I can get. Is my drummer still alive? No, it's not. Uh, he's not alive. So let's just take you and send you down there. Tell you to guard yourself. Item formation. Infantry formations. Very good. You are team one. You are team two. Let's go. I told you to, ooh, told you to be team 2. I think I first have to care about the south actually. This doesn't quite look like a situation I would want to deal with anytime soon. Houses are needed, so I get those. Let's actually work on some uh, sword clansmen. They will prove to be very effective in this situation simply because they have armor and because they are very fast they can also be used as a striking force against any striking pikemen or peasants. Plus if you upgrade them enough they'll basically shred everything in melee, even cavalry quite easily. And for the buildings we have the mercenary archers. The AI isn't all too keen on making early building upgrades, so we are fine with that. I made an additional draw back paper. The only downside on the castles is they are very expensive to build on their own. But that's what we have iron for. Which might not be actually the best idea to spend all that iron, because the sword transmen... They don't need iron, okay. And that's new to me, to be honest. But all the better, I can spend more food on the things to make more castles then. On the things that I need to become strong. The most important thing is that the pikemen stay safe so they can deal damage, which is what the infantry shield is for. They have to get a bit closer to attack so they are much more protected. The pikes are more protected at this against anything that's going to confront them. Musketeers? I hear guns, but I don't know from where. Oh indeed, Strelad Musketeers. <laughs> the, the objectively most useless Musketeer, and Musketeer unit in the entire game. Oh, holy moly. 
That's not good. That's not good at all. I did not pay attention to this. That's kind of that's kind of smart. It's gonna smart a lot. They built a blacksmith somewhere. Never mind, they are dead. So they didn't build anything. Ooh. Well, they know. They know. They know. I guess it's time for Sparta. For Sparta charge. Let's try to take as many out of them as possible. They are just doing God's work, but not enough. That's them done with. I need some new ones. So that I, I want the third barrack. And I can get that now. Where? There. All right, here we go. More pikes. Still don't need that iron. Can just sell it again. Whoopsie! That was a bit of an error. Of an error. Uh, luckily, in, in single player. There's mostly not the same bugs in the multiplayer, so I um, we can surely go on without having nasty bugs or so. I think I should send on a little detachment to deal with this. But they are pikes, they are easily going to mow, mow through the infantrymen. And I don't want to set my own pikes down there, that's a no-no. Neither do I want to set my special force against them. But I suppose I must. Must send something there. Ah, you better run. You better take cover. Ooh, yeah, that's what I expected. <laughs> um, okay, I guess I'll have to send these boys. But look at their stats, they are already pretty good now. They are going to get only better. Oh, uh, whoops, um, I did not order all of you to go in, did I? Oh well. I hate it when that happens. That's one of the most common bugs that I have. I order one man to move somewhere and suddenly everybody just goes in. Uh, I guess... I guess it can't be changed, it, does it? Uh, is it? Ooh. Damn it. Lip. Oh, that's not good. That was a bunch of musketeers. Uh, I'll just miss. Are you kidding me? Nah. I guess I'll have to, to just go in like this. Oh, but no, you don't go first, good gentlemen. You go last. There we go. Wasn't too hard now, was it? This upgrade is very expensive, but it's the best upgrade we can get. I still want to have the defense first. Alright, now everybody stop here, reform and 
stay in the formation, yeah? I'm doomed. I do not make these formations as a joke. Oh well. There we go. Hmm. Siege Cossacks. But the capture is off, so they don't. They, do, they won't pose a problem. Especially with my, with my supermen. They don't take any damage. All in, boys. I think I will have to buff it up even more to 7. Or make more AIs Russian AIs because the Russian AI actually put up a decent fight. Though admittedly, I kind of destroyed it really fast. Your Smithy has to go away. Market is next. Need more stone. First some wood though so I can make more swordsmen. Oh. Ah, oh, they won't pose a problem. Oh, but they, but they might. Don't be stupid. Ooh. Ooh, cavalry. Oh, that might be actually a decent problem here. They don't, they aren't upgraded, not yet. I just have not deed yet. Oh, there were two left. Oh, I thought I killed three by now. Oh, well, I did. It, it's five, yeah, right. Wrong timeline. Oh my, savage. Can you not go back, please? I need you in their base. Looks like the AI does like to make an early building upgrade, but only one, and I don't know which one. It still doesn't quite help though when, uh, when two or three dozen archers shoot on the building. At least when it's not a building like a, like an artillery depot or, or a barracks. Ooh, my men are dispersing quite a bit. Ooh, they are already 18th century. Interesting. The Swiss AIs might go for 
Jaegers pretty fast. Burn down more. No, that's a house, I don't need to burn that. The Swiss house and Smithy look pretty similar, so I often confuse those. Oh. Well, they did beat up my army, didn't they? This area is doing barely anything. I don't know why, maybe it escaped or so. I certainly didn't run over it yet. But it made always change. Dragoons. I can, I can counter that. I didn't want to, but I can. Valiant Archer. Where's this pipe? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Not anymore. Hmm? We'll see what happens. Apparently, the purple one is going to reinforce. Perfect opportunity to take out their army as well. Oof. Yeah, we can quite see that the Scottish pikemen without any protection are not especially powerful. Simply because they are pretty low in armor, of course they are strong in melee attack, but that's something else that helps in a general engagement, but you should have fodder, otherwise they can die very fast, especially to gunfire, which is what we are currently kind of dealing with. Talking of gunfire, I should probably work on getting some coal mines, so I don't have to always buy it, for the hundred of the units I'm making. Get some additional mines as well. Gold killed nobody. Only greed for it. And for the mighty death stack. I think this should do the trick once and for all. But I kind of don't want to leave without my dragoons. These guys had a decent amount of musketeers, I thought. I thought I would have seen that, but I must have looked in the wrong direction then. Do we really not have any musketeers? I oh, hear they have. That looked like more last time. What? Oh. Well, it's cute. You 
you're team two, you're team one. House. I can see you. You're team three. As I expected. Yeah, I just love to destroy things for you. Alright, all teams are ready, let's go. Let's see what the shot of it is. I could learn that. I don't need that much ammunition. Housed again. <laughs> what else? I don't need any more peasants, I think. Economy is going quite stable now. Take care of those. You should be able to do it. Oh, I forgot one upgrade that I can still give them. I don't have the iron. Well, I guess we'll have to do. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you do. Of course, you do. You don't try, you do. <laughs> There we go, I am a big mouth, run out of ammunition. I think you can straight up take out this base. <laughs> no, I will need some of those. Straight to the enemy base, please. These guys, these guys are good enough to take out any infantry or cavalry without support. Except that they are being shot at by guns, because their gun resistance is not the best. But better than pikemen. Can you like not follow them to their base? Should 
chainsaw. You really don't want to meet those guys in action. The mines, the everything. Town centers, all that kind of jazz. Get you. I feel a bit sorry for those guys, but uh, it's just the AI. I don't know what the conditions are for the AI su to surrender, but I think it's when they lose all their town centers and outside villagers. But I'm not sure about that. Or if that also counts in mines and stuff. Hmm. They surely do have a lot of them though. I don't know why all of those guys just stop moving altogether. Ah, they they gave up. Alright, it's time to do with this one. This one, this one, this one. Then this one. The mine, and then the trophy. It. I wish I could just beat the game up. Because this is just tedious now. And this is already a tiny map by the way, so... It can't be any faster than this. Or maybe we can still build some more stables or so. 
we haven't had any of those today. Nah, I don't think my stables need stone. Just for the sake of having some stables. Don't need as much gold, can also burn another stable. Almost. Uh, now we have a little bit of food. That's no big problem either. There we go. My men have arrived. And that should be it. There we go. Victory! Now that we have this done, just some grabs. You can pause if you're interested. The impossible eye is not impossible at all. It's quite bad in fact. Even low level players can beat it, so... Uh, Perfect for me, pretty much. <laughs> well, if what that's it for today, I thank you for watching, and uh, see you in the next video. Bye bye.